Hi, I'm Chris Johnson from Work Visa Lawyers, and I'm here today in front of the Royal Adelaide Hospital. We're going to be talking about the coronavirus. Travel bans affecting international students, partners, and more. So we have some important updates that are very uh, dramatic. There are travel bans for Australia. From 9 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, on the 20th of March, 2020, travellers from all countries will be banned from entering Australia. There are some exemptions. The exemptions are Australian citizens, Australian permanent residents, New Zealand citizens who are usually resident in Australia, immediate family members of Australian citizens and permanent residents. Immediate family members is defined to include spouses, legal guardians and dependents. For those that do travel to Australia, then there'll be mandatory self-isolation. All people entering Australia must self-isolate for 14 days. Students overseas and looking to return to Australia. Our thoughts have been with the international student community as so many of the Australian international student population is hailing from China. The corona outbreak and subsequent travel ban coinciding with the Lunar New Year holidays was such an unfortunate timing for many students. Since then, each Australian university has worked to support their enrolled students in providing alternatives to face-to-face -face tuition. We have also had a lot of feedback and phone calls about partner visas. The travel restrictions are impacting the loved ones of many Australians and the ability to make plans for lodging partner visas. Options for those in Australia with an expiring visa. This is a challenging situation. There are many people in Australia which hold a student visa or a visitor visa and they're approaching expiry dates. With the coronavirus affecting many countries overseas, it is a difficult time to plan to leave by the time your visa expires. So a decision needs to be made and often the best option is to lodge a further visa, whether it's a, another student visa if you've enrolled in another course or the government has been encouraging people to consider applying for a further visitor visa. One aspect that's a particular challenge for this is that some visitor visas might have a 8503 or a no further stay condition on them. Uh, such a condition can be waived in compelling and compassionate circumstances and the coronavirus may amount to such a compelling and compassionate circumstance. So this is something that Work Visa Lawyers is helping people to do, to apply for these further visas. I would stress that it is important to lodge your further visa application before your current one expires. Um, after your current visa expires, it becomes very difficult to apply for another visa. The big rush home to Australia. Over the years, I've helped many hundreds, perhaps thousands of people to apply for Australian permanent residence and Australian citizenship. Many of the people who receive permanent residence and citizenship actually choose to live overseas. Uh, places where they commonly live include Hong Kong and Dubai. However, there are Australian permanent residents and citizens uh, all over the globe. With the coronavirus, the uh, Australian government is currently encouraging all Australians to return home to Australia. It's difficult to know the exact motivation behind this, but it could be that there would be further or stricter travel restrictions um, coming up very soon. What I would say is that Australia does have a good health system and um, is not a densely populated country compared to many. And so there are some strong reasons to consider traveling home to Australia if you are an Australian citizen or permanent resident. I would expect that of of those people who have achieved Australian citizen or permanent residence, many thousands of them will be returning to Australia very soon. So that's going to be a very big pattern that we're going to be having people returning. Some of these people, uh, for example, from Italy or Greece, they might not have been living in Australia for a long time, but if they're an Australian citizen, they may see that now is the time to return. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you found it useful. We're planning to do regular updates on Australian immigration law and also on news such as the coronavirus. If you're interested in this, please hit like and also hit subscribe so that you can get the latest updates.